Hey guys, celery and potato soup today. Obviously, I was a little excited. Welcome to my channel. So today we're making celery and potato soup. One of the main ingredients, celery. So make sure you have a lot of celery on hand. The next ingredient that we're gonna use are leeks. For the leeks specifically, I only use two. They're very strong, so do as you like. I also, for the creaminess, used coconut milk. Now for the other ingredients, fresh dill was important. Dry dill is good, but fresh is always better. Garlic, obviously, you can never have enough garlic in my opinion. So also red potatoes. You can use any potato you want, but I prefer the red because I think they're a little bit sweeter. I used my juicer. How per se does a juicer come in handy? Because we're using the pulp. Yes, I said it the pulp from the juice that we made previously. So I blend it up in the blender and then I cook it down with the potatoes in. As it's cooking down, I end up putting it back in the blender. As you can see, I have a brand new Instapot blender. It's a little tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's an awesome, awesome blender. So once we're done blending, you want it to be nice and smooth. Now remember, we've cooked down with the potatoes, so the potatoes have been blended up as well, so it's a nice, smooth soup, as you can see. It was really, really good. Pour it into a bowl, and voila. I put some fresh dill on the top, just to give it a little bit of a kick. Now check this out. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it really good? Yes. Strawberry yeah. soup. I never knew it. I never thought of it. It's very good, baby. Oh, good. Yay. Very good. What'd you think, Bijou? Thank you, Gwen. Yeah, right? <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you, you to my Gwen. daughter for giving me the awesome idea for using the pulp. Talk about recyclable moments. 